Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com and this is this week's Teach Me Tuesdays. And I'm going to share with you, um, I think I've talked about it before, and what I do with my team every month is the, the first meeting of the month, I had them sign up for the Mystery Card Gut Challenge. And it's something that's just totally optional, they don't have to do it and what, they don't know what they're getting. And then I send them um, all the same things, and it's, um, and, I'll, and I'll show you what I sent them for March. And then they get them, and then they can do whatever they want. They can alter them, they can add to it, they can modify it, wh whatever. Um, they just have to use Stampin' Up! only, and they have to use stuff that's current, because, you know, we all want to be able to, um, to, to case it, right? And, and use it in our business. So um, I thought, you know what? I'm going to come on and, and show you what, um, what the March one was. So if you're thinking, hey, I might want to do that, totally. You could um, join my team and, and participate. And then what we do the, the following month's meeting is I show them what I did with my card. And then they share what they did, and it's amazing the differences that, you know, that everybody does, but the same things. So um, let me turn the camera, and um, we'll get started. All right, so April's host code, here we have um, the host code right here. I'm like about this much close to picking either the fifth or the, the sixth, the sixth. Stamp mini stamp and cut and boss machine. So I'm, I'm that that close. So if you need anything this month, make sure you use this code. Unless you're part of my virtual stamp club, and then you have your own code. And if you're ordering 150 before tax and shipping, don't use the code um, because then you'll get your hostess benefits. All right, so let's get started. So what the girls got? Now I say girls because we just have girls on the team so far. I'd love to have a guy on the team. So if you are a stamper and a gentleman, um, I would love to have you join our team. Okay, so they got um, a piece of the Whisper White. They got some basic gray. They got some more basic gray. They got some more Whisper White. And then they got a piece of the Well-Suited DSP. So I just package that up and off it goes in the mail to them. Then it is so exciting to see what they do with their with their stuff. All right, so let me show you what I did. All right, let me get my stuff going here. All right, so these are my pieces. So here's my card base, and it's just um, folded in half. Burnish it with the bone folder. And I'm so used to looking at my computer. <laughs> so this is way different. So I have to look in my phone to make sure I can see. Because I'm used to doing it live and I just look right ahead at my monitor. But I, I don't see that today. I have to scoot my head up. So I'm going to come down just a tiny little bit so that I can see. There, that's good. It might help you as well. All right, so here is that um, piece of basic gray. And then here is that DSP. So all I did was I trimmed it down just a little bit and I cut it in half. So now I'm just going to attach it to my cardstock. So this, I love doing this because it, it gets, it allows you to show off both sides of the DSP. So there's the one. And then here's the other one. Just make sure you don't put the adhesive on the same one or it didn't make sense to cut it in half. All right, so I did trim it down just a little bit so that I would have a little bit of a border. All right, so there's that. I'm also using the Soar Confidently stamp set. And this is retiring, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you grab that. 
And I'm also using the Stitched So Sweetly dies. I love these dies. I mean, anything with a scallop. I don't know if you um, follow me on Facebook, but Jeff made this huge birdhouse. It is amazing. And he even scalloped the edges. I'm like, oh my gosh. A man after my own heart. Again, after all these years, he's still does little things it's like oh i love it i love it so it was so funny all right so i also added and this is the gray granite let me flip it around so i can read shimmer ribbon this is beautiful so i'm adding that and i'm just going to use a glue dot so i'm just putting a glue dot on the edge of my ribbon and I just put this here to add a little shine, but I also, I just want to cover where the two DSPs meet, just to kind of hide that split. Scoot it over just a little bit. And if you're worried about somebody touching it or pulling on it, I'm just going to use a little bit of scotch tape. And I'll just reinforce that ribbon stays in place you never know like when you you mail stuff and the post office can can get a little rough they're so busy right now all right so i'm going to put that on there i'm going to use glue dots i mean yeah glue dots just because there's a bump here from where i put the ribbon and the scotch tape so you want to make sure that you use um, either glue dots or dimensionals so that um that the it will reach the adhesive will be able to touch the other cardstock when you have something in here it kind of has like an edge to it so it makes the cardstock not necessarily be able to touch the cardstock as good when you're putting them together so whenever i have something in the back like that i usually use glue dots or dimensionals but this time i just use dimensionals so let's see here so i trimmed down my white piece of paper and I also trimmed it down so that I got my little sewer confidently in your own sky and I used that stitch so sweetly die to cut it out I'm using the Knight of Navy ink pad because that's some of the color that is in the um, in the DSP all right so this is a big stamp. So I'm inking it up backwards so that I can see that I'm getting all my edges. I think that's good. I think that's good. It looks like I'm getting that off of there. All right, so here we go again with our balloon. I love this set. I love the details in it. Jeff watches, oh, what is that movie with the Iron Man guy? Sherlock Holmes or something like that? I think it's Sherlock Holmes. And this kind of reminds me of that because it's just that, um, that time, of, there's a century or whatever the word is, but this just kind of reminds me of that kind of look. All right, so let me get my pieces all going here. So here's my card base. I'm going to turn my umbrella over. And glue it onto my basic gray. And I just trimmed this down so that it will fit right in here. So you can still see the little stitch marks. So I still want to be able to see the little stitch marks. So I just trimmed this down just a little little smaller. All right, so let's put our card together and I'm going to be using dimensionals. So I want it to straddle or, you know, go off over the ribbon. So I'm not going to put my dimensionals in the center because then the dimensionals will rest on that ribbon and it will sit up in the center and I don't want that. So same thing with the dimensionals on the big one. I'm just going to put three on each side 
and I'm going to avoid the center so that it, the ribbon will just go in between. All right, so let me put my umbrella on first. And this is such a cute, simple card. There is no coloring, it's just, you know, I mean, you could, you could totally color the umbrella, but I just went just color only with the pad. But you could do this same layout with so many different stamp sets, so many kind of DSPs, it's just endless, this design. And I loved to see, like, if anyone else cut, you know, cut their cardstock in half. And I think somebody did. Or what side they use. That looks even. So I need to go to my blog and post the other cards so you can see them. So make sure you go over to my blog and check that out. I'll have to um, get that uploaded, though, right? I haven't posted them on there. All right, so that is is this one. And then here's the one that I look at. You know, I always have one off to the side to look at. So they look pretty, pretty similar, I think. So yeah, I love it. So hopefully you like that. And um, so um, make sure you come back Wednesday. So Wednesday is the Whatcha Making Wednesdays. Um, and that will be on my YouTube channel. And that is at 2 o'clock Arizona time. Look at my dirty blue finger. Um, that's at 2 o'clock Arizona time. And, um, what you making Wednesdays? I don't know what I'm making. I don't know. <laughs> I'll know then. But as of right this moment, I'm not for sure. So, all right. So thanks again for joining me for this week's Teach Me Tuesdays. And um, have a great night. We'll talk to you later. Bye.